Now, Mr. Durham, I'd like to ask you the following simple yes or no questions. Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Not Trump's former foreign policy powers. advisor to the campaign, George Papadopoulos, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Trump's former deputy campaign manager, Rick Gates, was convicted, correct? Not in connection with the Russian man. Trump's. All right, Mr. Durham, you can hold yourself out as an objective Department of Justice official or as a partisan hack. And the more that you try to spin the facts and not answer my questions, you sound like the latter. Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Trump's longtime advisor, Roger Stone, was convicted, correct? Correct. In contrast to multiple Trump associates who were convicted, you brought two cases of jury trial based on this investigation and you lost both. And so I don't actually know what we're doing here because the author of the Durham report concedes that the FBI had enough information to investigate. And thank goodness the FBI did because multiple Trump associates who committed crimes were held accountable. Thank you to the FBI for doing their jobs.